Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to another YouTube video. So today I got kind of a crazy idea with my truck. This is kind of what gave me the idea. So recently I built this bed in the back of my truck. I wanted to do some truck camping, but I couldn't find a cap for a good price. Plus I'd have to get it painted and everything and I didn't really want to put a cap on here. So I decided to build a bed in the back of my truck. So as you can see, back seat is down like normal. Front seats are pushed all the way forward. This here is a mattress that I built. So basically underneath the mattress here, we just have a simple platform. It's just plywood here. And then I have a two by four here to uh, make it level because the seat is angled. Two by four makes it level. And then I got some two by four legs underneath here. You can see just plywood. These are on hinges so that they can fold up, but those make it sturdy up at the front here. And uh, as you can see up here, up in here, it is cut around the center console here and these seats actually go really far forward so you actually have lots of room here i cut it around the center console here and then i got cup holders here to hold stuff as you can see i got a fan in here i actually slept in here last night even though my room is right on the other side of that wall i just thought it would be fun i built this because our family was going camping last weekend and i didn't want to squeeze in the camper with everybody so i decided to just build a bed in my truck I ended up liking it so much that I've slept in it a few other times and I just slept in it last night even though my room is right on the other side of that wall. I threw some carpet on it just to make it a little nicer and then I built this mattress. This is just some mattress toppers. I just went and grabbed some two two inch mattress toppers and stacked them and then I got a sheet and as you can see um, cut it and I sewed it around here to make the notch around the center console like that and then this just fits in here perfectly just like that and it makes for an awesome bed this is super comfortable i can actually stretch out completely flat if i lay at an angle like this but most of the time i'm not even laying fully stretched out so it actually works perfect and i sleep in it just as good if not better than i do in my regular bed so it works out great but i built this and as i was camping i was like i feel like i need like a good place to if i'm just using this for camping you know i can't just stay in here i need a good place to hang out I got the whole bed here, what should I do with that? And then I was thinking, I got these holes here, why don't I just build like a deck on top of, like right, basically right on top of these bed rails here, and then I can put stuff underneath it still, almost like a tonneau cover, and just kind of do kind of the same thing, put some carpet on it, and then I can set up here on the deck, and uh, I'll just put some posts out of the rails here, build the deck right around it, I think that'd be super cool. And then when we head to the drag races and stuff, I can back this right up to the fence right by the track and we can sit up on top of it and watch the races. So yeah, I think that'll be something really cool to do. And that's kind of what I want to try to do today. So I have a plan in my head, kind of the same thing with the bed. I had a plan in my head and I just rolled with it and it turned out actually better than I was expecting it to. It turned out awesome and it works great. And then when I fold it up, all I do is flip the legs up and tip it like this and it just sits straight up like this inside there. I put the seats back and uh, I can drive around with it in there and it'll pull right out of these doors whenever I'm done using it and want to take it out. So like I said, for this, I have an idea in my head and I'm hoping it all works out as smoothly as it did with the bed. Basically, I got to run to Lowe's right now and grab the wood that I need for this. So I'm going to fold up my bed, take a few measurements, and then we're going to head to the hardware store. All right, bed is all folded up. And one nice thing about this truck when it comes to camping like this, all I have to do up here, I got memory seats. All I do is press number one and my seat will automatically go right back to the spot that I like it. And then I have number two set in what I call camp mode. It moves the seat all the way forward, tips it forward. So when I wanna set up my bed, I just press number two, seat automatically moves forward right where I need it. All right, guys, I got all my dimensions here and uh, we're gonna head to the hardware store, get all our wood, and yes, that is a duck. He's a Texas duck. He's even got a rope. And just like that, a hundred bucks later, we got all the wood in the back. And I picked up a few hinges and a handle and some tie downs for a little surprise thing that I wanna try to add in. So I think we're all set. We're gonna head back home and start working on this thing. I'm gonna go ahead and start trying to piece stuff together how I have it planned out in my head. This is not a how-to video. I'm kind of learning how to myself here. So I'm just kind of teaching myself and uh, seeing if the idea in my head will work. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. Let's see how it goes. I couldn't find my safety glasses, so this is my substitute. Alright, I got my boards up here. I wanted to bring them 
all the way back to this back line right here so that our backboard will go basically right across the top of this. That'll help just for extra support if for some reason it's moving at all, which it shouldn't be. I think this is gonna be pretty rigid, so it should be good. But our backboard will go right across this rail pretty much. Now that I'm standing here looking at it, these are eight foot boards and it really doesn't stick out that far. And the plywood is also eight foot, so I won't have to cut it if I don't cut these and they really don't stick out that far and why not have a little bit extra room here on your on your deck so i might just leave them how they are like this and then uh because this isn't sticking out far enough to be dangerous or anything driving on the road with it so i might just leave them how they are that way we can just set our plywood on we don't have to cut anything and uh it should work out better that way than having to try to cut it and measure it all again back from the gym and you know what that means back to work we're gonna keep working on this and we're running out of daylight so we're gonna get as much done as we can tonight and then uh, maybe finish it tomorrow I want to measure from back here make sure that I put this stud right where I want it because I want to put a little trap door here in the floor that you open up so we can put a cooler in there or something so when we're sitting up here we can pop that open have a cooler down there staying out of the Sun and everything open that up, have drinks in there or something. Because underneath this is gonna be pretty much like storage, like, almost like this is a tonneau cover. So I wanna have like a little door to access the back part of the bed here so you don't have to crawl all the way up in if there's stuff back here. That ain't going nowhere. All right, guys, the door part is framed out. So right here is where our door is gonna be. It's gonna pop open just like that. And of course, I'm gonna put something here to let the door set on when it's shut. But yeah, that's where our door is gonna be. Ooh, there we go. We got the studs in this way. That's all I'm gonna do for tonight. Because there is a storm rolling in, there is, as you just saw right there, there's lightning and uh, thunder going on. I'm not sure if it's going to rain or not, but I'm not taking any chances. I got some tools out here and this camera, so I'm not taking any chances. So I'm going to go ahead, put the mule away, put all the tools inside, and call it a night. And we'll be back working on it tomorrow. All right, I picked up two more 2x4s because I ran out of them. And I got some waterproofing stain to make this thing fully weather resistant look you can see fully weather resistant sun rain snow ice everything because this is going to be out in the weather now hopefully uh, my idea for storing it will hopefully keep it out of the weather but this is going to be in the weather whenever i'm using it so i want to make sure that the wood is going to stay good underneath whatever i wrap it in <laughs> guys we got the platform off of the truck and onto some saw horses it took four of us and uh, these things were definitely a little bit tight in those holes so I'm gonna have to shave them down a little bit so that it comes off easier but uh, I'm gonna end up using that thing hopefully to pull it on and off get it on and off of the truck so we got some all-weather defense for your guarantee stain made for decks and fences that should work just fine. This doesn't really need to be stained. It just needs to be protected from the weather because it is gonna get wrapped in some artificial turf or carpet or something cool like that. So I'm just gonna put on one or two coats of this. It says 
It says one coat, but I'll put one on and see what I think, and then I'll possibly end up putting a second one on. guys I got the whole top covered in stain the bottom I can do once I get it lifted off of here then I can go ahead and do the bottom but I used up most of my stain and I put it on pretty heavy so I think I'm just gonna stick with one coat I think that'll be plenty especially since it'll be wrapped in something else um, I think one coat will be plenty for it and it won't be out in the weather all the time it'll be like if I have it out at a show or something and it starts to rain Alright guys, it is present day 2024 and we're going to go ahead and try to finish up this project. I ran out of time to work on it last year, so it's been just kind of sitting like this over the winter and I'm going to go ahead and finish it up because I want to use it this year. So I did notice my plywood warping a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and throw some more screws in there just to kind of flatten that back down. And then I got some hinges and handles for the trap door and I got a bunch of fake grass to put on. So I now hooked up two of the four chains just on the one side because I have some eye bolts I need to put on the bottom. So I'm gonna to try to stand it up and we'll see how this works. Well, that worked great. All right guys, quick break from today's video to tell you about our sponsor. I'm just kidding, I don't get sponsors, but this thing is pretty cool. I can have just water or I can have juice. Well, I brought the air compressor out. I'm going to go ahead and blow it off because it's pretty dirty and then Start trying to figure out how I want to put this grass on there. It's going to be interesting. Well, I had to run and get some staples for the staple gun. And as you can see, it's pretty dark now. But luckily, we got some lights in here. Number two. All right, guys, as you can see, I got it all wrapped and covered, and it looks pretty good. My eye bolts are still sticking out, so I can hook up my chains and lift it up, lift it up onto the truck. And right now, um, since these are going different directions, it looks a little bit weird when you come over here. It looks good from this corner, but then when you come back here, this is dark and that's light, but that's just because they're new, so all the grass is still pointing one direction. Uh, once it gets roughed up a little bit and used some, it'll all blend in and look the same. I love how the trap door completely blends in. You don't even know it's there, and you pop it open. All right, guys, it is the next day, and today we're going to attempt to lift this up and put it on the back of the truck. This will be my first time putting it on the truck with the hoist. I had it on the truck once before because when I built it, I built it up on the truck. So it was only on there while it was being built and then it was lifted off. 
So it hasn't been on there since I put everything together like this and it hasn't been put on with this hoist. So I'm gonna attempt to do it all by myself. I'm the only one here and uh, we're gonna see how it goes. actually worked awesome this actually looks so good out here it's literally just a grass platform on top of my truck and as you can see it comes right up perfectly with the window it's like i'm standing in the yard but six feet up in the air and then we got a little trap door here gives us access to our bed they can just close that right up and it basically disappears nice and sturdy we can walk on it jump on it whatever I think this thing's pretty cool. All right, guys, well, that's gonna go ahead and do it for this video. As you can see, I'm putting it to good use here at the Bloomsburg Truck Show in Bloomsburg, PA. So I am putting it to good use. And actually, what I originally had in mind when I built this was the drag races, like, because I went to the drag races and I was sitting there up against the fence, but I couldn't see over the fence or anything. When I built this, what I had in mind was for the drag races to be able to sit up against the fence and see over the fence, over all the other trucks. So it was kind of cool that the first thing I took it to was actually the drag strip and now as you can see for truck shows you know it works great for that too and as you can see i did throw the struts in and they work great they hold it up and then i can just put it right back down like that and it blends right in and then if i go ahead and open the back you can see i got my camping bed set up in the back for the show i'm gonna have these doors open so people can see inside the deck then brings it all together i'll set up the umbrella and stuff tomorrow and have it all set up and we'll be hanging out up there anyways that's gonna go ahead and do it for this video hope you guys enjoyed i like building stuff like this and uh get more use out of this truck so we'll see you next time peace